pissed off. Oh! Hey, what's up? So, remember that time I was all... Do you think they'll ever repaint this Rhinox figure? Yeah, so they did it. They made a repaint of him, or I guess like a retool, since this one's got much more surface detail than that original one. But yeah, we just found this one on the ride home from Father's Day Travels, and that got me thinking, let's rank up all my Rhinox, right? And so that's what I'm doing today. Uh, starting with this one. So what do we think about the boxes for these guys? Good? Not so good? Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it's a little weird. Green is a nice, it's nice sometimes, right? But I mean, look at the back of the box. It's, uh, it's very green. I don't know. I don't, I don't hate it, but it's just something, something to talk about, right? Right out of the box, I like it much more than the Kingdom one. All the surface detail just does more for me than just seeing the Rhino hide on the other one. I don't know. Uh... I was, I'm surprised by this. I've heard nothing but mediocre things about this figure, but looks pretty good to me, you know? Um, <laughs> head's weird, but that's fine. Weapons are cool. The rhino horn's insane, right? They basically made a figure that kind of points a finger at poaching, right? I, I haven't seen the movie yet. They might, like, reference this in the movie. Taking the horn off and, like, using it as a weapon, but I don't know. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go B tier. I kind of really like him. <laughs> um, I might go A. His ankle tilts are looking pretty sweet. He's got spinny weapons, removable horn, weird arm articulation. I kind of really like him. You know what? A tier. Next up, we got the Kingdom one. And he's not my favorite. I'm going to put it out there up front. Um, He's fine. He's a Rhinox figure. You know, <laughs> I feel like a lot of... Rhinox figures kind of, there's no surprises. It's just, yeah, he's a rhino, turns into a rhino robot. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> the, the things I do like include rubbery horns, not as rubbery as I remember, which is pretty weird. Mouth articulation's pretty nice. Sideways shoulder action. And robot mode's pretty good. It's a rhinox, you know? Uh, <laughs> he is green and brown and sometimes a little bit of gold. He's, he's fine. He just... He's not quite the show Rhinox, and he's not quite some new version of Rhinox. He's kind of like every Rhinox smushed together, which for some, that's probably great. For me, it's just fine. Um, he's a C, C tier. Next up, we got Generations or whatever this one's from. He is a great example of how far a brand could come in a very short time. You know, <laughs> just like under a decade, this is what Transformers toys used to look like. Drink it in. <laughs> it's not great. There were some great ones, but... Like, ooh, ooh, specifically not good. Like, look at this guy's, oh my God, his shoulders, his feet, his legs. What are we doing? He's got a nice head though. But I mean, it's all so weird. I hate to do it. I really do. Because the colors are right. There's a lot going on here that's right. But the figure itself is no fun. I've never had a good time transforming it. I got to go D tier. Oof, it hurts me to do it. But D tier. Next up, we got the Rise of the Beast mini one. And you know, he's... A weird little baby rhino, man. His horn's looking good. He's got more paint or colors in general than the the Voyager one. But I don't know. Let's see him in robot mode, right? Here we go. All right, and there he is in robot mode. Um, This can't be right, right? <laughs> Tell me this isn't right. Uh, Oh, hold on. All right, is that right? <laughs> he looks a little bit better. Um, ooh, <laughs> does he, though? Oh, no. He's fine. Uh, I think he's got a better head than, than the Kingdom one. Let's put them side by side real quick. No, they're both weird. I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> I see Rhinox in there, but man, it's, it's a weird one. He's got like Jinko jeans on. Uh, it's just a small little gray and brown Rhino man. I don't know. Uh, it's $9 or something like that. It's pretty cheap. So how could I really be mad at it, right? But I'm going to go with a C tier. Totally fine. He does the job, right? He does a job. I don't know if it's the job. Oh, God. Oh, Rhinox, what's wrong with you? Why are you so hard for people to, to nail? Oh, my gosh. You know who did nail it, though? I'm not supposed to go to the next one just yet, but that metal mini nano fig. Holy shit. S tier. Next up, we got the Beast Wars one, and he's looking great. I mean, you know, <laughs> within reason of great. He's got the tan. Sorry, moving the mic. He's got the tan. He's got the knife. He's got the Gatling gun. He's got the rhino horn. He's got a hidden mask face, teeth chest, weird feet. He's got it all. He's kind of small, but he's got it all. I do prefer his interior face uh, rather than his beast mask thing. Um, but, you know, 
It's all part of the journey. This was like G1 for Beast Wars characters, so I'll take what I can get, right? But what this gets is a C, because he is totally fine. C tier. So next up, we got the Black Kabaya one, and he is the G1 figure. That's it. <laughs> just black and purple, right? Uh, some red here and there, but you know, black and purple, just like that Optimus Primal from the last video or the video before. It doesn't matter. Here he is in robot mode. Um, more green on display, more tan. He's looking great. Here he is with the original. And, you know, see the family resemblance, right? <laughs> uh, so, gonna put him at C tier because he's also fine. Next up, we got the Creo one. And, yep, <laughs> he's... <laughs> He's very small. These were awesome when they first came out, for, for me at least. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like them. But uh, blind bag little minifigs of characters that I've known for over two decades. I'm here for it, you know? $3, $5, I'll take it. I'll take the chance of getting my guy, you know? Chest looks good. Paint looks good. Plastic looks good. He's got a blaster, which is pretty strange, but they're not going to remold the whole Gatling gun just for him, right? They're not going to make that just for one guy. So he gets a blaster. It's whatever. And so is his grade, right? He's an average C tier. He's not for everybody. He's borderline not even for me. I just like him because he's my guy. And that's it. He's cool. He's fine. He's whatever. C tier. Next up, we got the finger puppet one. And he's just great. I love this one. Um, <laughs> look at his dumb little face. Holy shit. He is brown, yellow, green, red, white, black. And he's looking great. What can I say? Um, I love a finger puppet. They're crazy. They're insane. <laughs> I can't believe Takara made them. Like, I mean, I can, but, you know, uh, they wouldn't make finger puppets. I guess maybe they do. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I love it. I love the. Give me all the finger puppets, right? Give me all the finger puppet transformers you got. <laughs> B tier. Next up, the Robot Heroes one. So this is the mini toy line that I always get wrong. I always call it like Super Heroes of Cybertron or uh, Robot Kingdom. But, you know, I, I, uh, I'm i not even sure if it's called Robot Heroes. Is it? Let me know. <laughs> um, but this guy, he's got head articulation, shoulder articulation, shoulder articulation, and that's it. Paint's looking pretty good, honestly. He's got some metallics, he's got some earth tones, he's got some red eyes, silver feet. It's looking pretty good. It's not the right colors, but they all look pretty good, right? I'm going to have to go with a C tier. He's fine. He's not great. He's not bad. He's just in the middle. C tier. Next up, we got a magnet. He's looking real strong, real big, and, you know, there's a mystery with this one. Because I don't know if this one came first or the next one. But as far as this one's concerned, I'm going to give it a... Oh, I'm going to give it a B. I like it a lot. Pose is good. Colors are good. He's a great magnet. What can I say? So next up, we got the, the other one. The one that I think this magnet's based off of. He's a great little minifig. He's got all the right colors. Red eyes are looking good. Yellow head thing. The tan is right. Black feet, green face and arms. Love it. He's even got those little rhino dots on his legs. Hell yeah. But which one do you guys think came first? The magnet or the minifig? I don't even know if either of them are official. This is the first time I'm opening this Rhinox figure. And I know there are words on the back, so I'm going to check those out right now after I made that statement. <laughs> so here we go. Shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that the magnet came second. Because the magnet doesn't have any words on the back. Well, I guess that mystery solved. Uh, but which one do you guys like better? You like a magnet or you like a minifig? I'm going to give the minifig a uh, B because I think he's better than pretty good. I, I really like him. But let me know, right? Which one do you like better? Next up, we got some weird stuff. From here on out, they're kind of not really Rhinoxy, but we're just going to roll with it. <laughs> so uh, we first of all, we got the Transmetal Rhinox. Never appeared in the show. Did appear in a game, but not a show. So he's just kind of make-believe. But hey, sometimes that's cool. Um, and right now, it's pretty damn cool too. Like what I'm seeing. Love the teal. Love the tannish gray. <laughs> the brown boots and gloves and other stuff, like his head. You can really see the resemblance between this and the Rise of the Beast Voyager one. Anyway, there's a couple of great things about this figure that I really love. Uh, one of them is his tiny little abs. That's just great. But also, he's got, like, shoulder meat. I'm a huge fan of shoulder meat. Look at that. Ew. Gross. Nasty. Love it. He's also got, like, an orb, like a chest orb thing. But there's no orb in there. But if you do crack open his chest, he does have a maximal rub sign, which is always pretty nice. I'll, I'll take that. Overall, I like him. Is he great? No, but he's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go C tier. 
Yep. Next up, we got the Transmetal minifig of him from Kabaya. And yep, it's looking like a Transmetal Rhinox, right? Um, <laughs> here they are together, standing side by side. Don't ever talk to me or my small rhino son ever again, right? I'm going to go <laughs> C tier. Next up, we got the same thing except in blue. Blue and green, right? Uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm not going to transform him. He's a blue rhino forever. But, you know, I think he's also a C tier. He looks great. I don't really know who he's supposed to be. It's just a repaint. Don't worry about it. But C tier. Hell yeah. Next up, McDonald's. Look, let me level with you. I know it's not Rhinox. Its name is Rhino on the packaging, so whatever. But I'm going to include it because I got two other ones that I made that are customs, and you're just going to have to deal with it. If you don't like looking at orange rhinos, then click off now, you know? Thanks for the view. I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> but this guy is crazy. McDonald's was wild back in the day. Um, <laughs> look at where his feet come out. Oh my God. As a full rhino man, here's what he looks like. Um, you know, it's a McDonald's toy. Cut it some slack. But I am going to say. C tier, we got two more to go. Let's do it. Next, we got a custom of that McDonald's guy. Uh, purple, black, orange, red, white. That's it. He looks pretty good. I don't think he looks great. It's been sitting collecting dust for the past maybe two years. So, you know. It is what it is, but I think it looks pretty fun. Here he is with the original, and yeah, I think I'm um, definitely going to put this guy in D tier. Oh, what you going to do? Self burn. But for real, the D tier. Next and finally, we have a custom finger puppet of that McDonald's guy, and you know, uh, I'm going to put it in C tier as well. He's fine. He's better than the last one, <laughs> just because he's cute. I don't know. It's uh, It's something. Here he is with the original and that other guy. Yeah. Fine. Totally fine. Why do I do this? No idea. And that's it. Uh, that's all the Rhinoxes. What do you think? Um, good tiering? Bad tiering? Let me know. But um, I <laughs> still haven't seen the movie. I'm excited for it, but still haven't seen it. Fake fan. But, you know, one day, right? Probably when it's already on streaming, but, you know, one day nonetheless. Here's all the cumulative tiering we got so far for Transformers. Let me know if I should stop this. Let me know if you like it. I kind of like it, but... Let me know. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Instagram, Twitter. You know what to do. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.